Right, I think I need a cup of coffee for this video. I think this is probably one of the hardest videos to make, I think. And it's because, there's a few reasons, um, I'm doing a video about YouTube really. Yeah. And there's a couple of things that prompted this video. Um, but what I want to do in this video is show you, if you haven't already, how to subscribe and how uh, to leave comments. So I had a number of people uh, saying recently that they, they couldn't see the links that had left on a video or um, people are sending me personal messages now, and they don't know how to, uh, to subscribe to a YouTube channel. So I want to take you through the whole of that and uh, like I said I think I'm going to need a coffee for this. It was also the links wasn't it um, to products or to um, a checklist that people can't see if they're just looking on a smart no. TV no. which is not available. No, I think I said in the last video something like 60% of the people who watch our videos are not subscribers so if I can get the figure of number of people who watch our videos to be subscribers up then uh, the channel will do a lot better. So yeah, so a couple of reasons for doing it. And hopefully it will help you to subscribe to other channels as well, because remember there are some other channels out there that are you they? might want to watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, so let's do that. So another sip of coffee. So the first thing you've got to do is you need to subscribe to, uh, to Google. You need a Google account. Poppy can help here, can't you? Right, so the first thing you do is go to Google. So google.com on a browser. And if you've not got a Google account, you'll see there's a sign in up the top there. So what you need to do is you need to click on that sign in. And then it will ask you to sign in if you haven't already signed in. But if you haven't got an account, you need to create an account and I'm just creating it for myself and then you're going to put some details in here about yourself would you believe and I'm just putting some made up names in here you can use your own email address as well it says use my current email address instead I think I prefer to have like a separate account for my Google but you can do that and then you put in a password and confirm it and to check it you click show password and then you can go next yeah. once you've got the password in it will then want to verify with your phone number so then you're going to put your mobile phone number in here and then you're going to verify it on your phone I won't show you that but uh, obviously because it, gives you, it would give you my phone number wouldn't it but once you've done that you can then sign in and it's, this is signing into Chrome here, but you can then sign into Google and uh, off you go. Does you, that make sense? Yeah, you don't need to use Google for anything else, do this Google account. Cause I've got one for, I just use for YouTube. Yeah, it's, it doesn't cost anything and you don't need to use it. To, you don't need to tell people that you've got a Google account for your email or anything. No, you don't need to no. change your current email address. No. Just, just an extra one. Uh, if, if you use the Chrome browser, it can store passwords. Yeah, it can store passwords for you, can't for, you. It for, yeah. Yeah. for your websites. Yeah, I think there are advantages of having a, a, a Google account other than YouTube. But what I'm trying to concentrate on here is obviously the advantages of having a Google account that gives you a YouTube account. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I've gone into my um, Fire TV. Uh, on my smart TV and if I go down to YouTube if you can't find YouTube on your recent things you should be able to get find it through apps and channels you go over to there and if you've never signed in before you'll see a thing over over on the right there that says sign in and when you sign in you're going to use the Google account that you created earlier So we'll sign in, uh, sign in there. I'm going to sign in on the TV. You can sign in with the web browser. Just using the up and down arrows on the remote here. 
and then you're going to put in your e uh, Google account that you created earlier. But if I remember what where what mine is, mine is my ordinary email address. And then you go up and next and then it'll ask for your password activate and then you put that code in that it's got on the screen there and you just confirm that it's you it says uh, is, do you have your phone you just say yes your phone, pull down the notification bar and tap the sign in notification, tap yes and 3, 2 on your phone to sign in. Okay, so is this, so I've pulled down the notifications on my phone and it says want to allow an ac app access to your Google data, so I say yes and it gives me a number to tap and verify it. So it's quite a bit of security to, to log you in, but if you just follow what it says, it's it's fairly fairly easy to use. And then it, it uh, you choose the account that you're going to use on the phone, and you go allow, and then we're signed in. I didn't show that on my phone because obviously it's, it's giving sort of security questions and that sort of thing so I can't really show that but like I say if you just follow what it says you'll be signed in to your YouTube account. Okay so now once you're signed into YouTube I can then start to watch um, so I was talking about the big freeze of 1963. I started to watch, start to watch. Home, no. pandemic, particularly turn, difficult. Turn it. Skip the ads. So I can then watch the TV. I can then watch the YouTube video. Now, if I want to, if I press the up arrow on the mo on the mobile. So I'm just pressing the up arrow on the mobile and again I can go to the channel or if I click on go to the dots there and then if I want to give the video a like I can move across to the like or I could give it a dislike or I could subscribe so I'll give it a like and if I want to subscribe I go across to that and I'm subscribed and it's as easy as that so just pressing the up arrow gives you this sort of menu here. And of course the thing you can't do, it looks like you could comment there, but you can't. That's just for giving feedback to YouTube. You get stats there, but that's all you can do. You can save it to your playlist. Or you could go to the channel itself and have a look at that. And you can see the other videos. There's the other videos on there. Got to think about um, snowstorms there, haven't we? Now one of the big advantages of course now is I can go across here and I can then go down and I can see all the people that I'm subscribed to and the ones that I watched recently are at the top here but then I've got all the other all the other channels that I've subscribed to all the way down here, hundreds of them. <laughs> and uh, subscriptions and like I say so if someone's got a video out uh, and you can watch that and that's basically it. you've got your library so any videos that you've liked or you've recently re released you've got I've got my own videos in there I've got ones that I'm going to watch later and any liked videos, um, some of the, my own videos, like I say. So there, there's big advantages for uh, being subscribed on here. Yeah, because I found when you just signed in as guest, yeah, you're lucky if the ones you regularly watch come up. Actually, on there. But sometimes you have to scroll all the way down to find them. Yeah. Or you have to do a search. But if you subscribe to a channel, yeah. 
you know, it, it comes up um, uh, under that subscription. Yeah. So you, you can do the search on there, but it's a little bit fiddly to, to do that. You've it's got better. to know, know the channel name. Yeah, well. it's better if you're subscribed, and then you'll see the ones that you're subscribed to, plus the ones it recommends that you watch. They'll be on there. So it gives you an idea of the sort of things I watch. Don't quite. I'm not into jazz. I'm not sure why it's giving me that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so and it, if you keep going down, uh, there's topics. So you see that. Oh, come, come past it. So cameras, nature, motorcycles, snow, tourism, Samsung Galaxy, <laughs> <laughs> SUV. Anyway, you can keep going down there, and then it will give you those as well. And it give you things like caravan nut viewers also watch. Posh cats, happy travellers, those weirdos, travel trolls, indie projects, and so on. Yeah. So those are the advantages for subscribing. Yeah. So yeah. I'm signed on as me on yeah. my phone. Yeah. So I've got slightly different subscriptions to you, not massively different. And when you go onto your phone, you see the the way I've got it sorted is my subscriptions that have recently uploaded a video. Yeah. So Travel Trolls TV was the last one yeah. that they uploaded a video, so that's sort of at the top. Yeah. And then on this subscription page, you've got latest videos from your subscription, yeah. so that's really handy. Or you can go just to home and it comes up with recommending other videos to you, including it's recommended to me, happy uh, Heavy traffic in St Albans. <laughs> Very useful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 But uh, no, so that's mine. Mine is slightly different, but of course, what you can now do if you put it on your phone yeah. is you can comment on videos. Yeah. So that's that's really what we want people to do. It is it, it, if they can get it on the phone or the laptop or the PC and they subscribe, is that they then can now comment on the videos. Um, what I've been getting a lot of recently are people sending me uh, Facebook messages. Uh, and the um, Facebook messages comes as a personal request um, for someone who's, what, what I see is their message and it might be them asking a question, what do I do about my batteries in the winter or, you know, a, a fairly technical question. Now I could spend a lot of time answering that personal question to that, that person. Yeah. Or if they put the message on on YouTube, other people would see that the reply that I give. So mm. I've actually said, I think I said on my community page that I don't want people sending me personal messages. Not because I'm trying to be rude or unhelpful or anything. It's just that it's easier for me to reply on YouTube than it is on personal messages. The other thing about personal message, of course, is if you accept the personal message, that person is able to contact you even more, so they can then send you more messages. You were finding, when you were sitting on your old phone, that that chat, the messaging thing, was getting very slow to It was load. actually slowing the, the phone down, so I've actually taken some people off the, the chats. Yeah, because obviously it's got to load all these different chats that you've yeah, had, yeah, so it, yeah. it's just too difficult. The other thing, and this is a slightly selfish reason for doing it, is if people put comments on the YouTube channel rather than sending me personal messages, it helps the YouTube channel, so it helps us bring you more content. Yeah, yeah, because YouTube see that there's a lot of interaction going on. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's really what we want to do here, is we want to be able to talk to our viewers and uh, and find out what sort of videos they want. Hence, I'm doing this video, which is a video that people don't want, but <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got a valuable point here, yeah. is that I don't really want people sending me personal messages, and that's why... I, I decided to do this this video, and to show how easy it is um, to subscribe to channels, and then you've got all your the people you really want to watch yeah. coming up yeah. straight away. The other the other comment you sometimes see is how much does it cost to subscribe? It's absolutely free. Um, what you pay for are the adverts, I suppose. It, that's what pays us the income. Isn't yeah, the but that's, that's the same whether you're subscribed or unsubscribed, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. It doesn't it? Make, make any difference. No, so from a subscriber's point of view, it's it's free to watch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we get an income from that, and that's you know helps pay for the camera equipment and uh, 
and our, and our trips, I suppose. Yeah, well, we did do a video before Christmas, didn't we, saying how much uh, we get from YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, I we've hesitated to make this video before, yeah. haven't we? Because we thought we don't want to look as if we're asking for subscribers. It's just that it makes it easier for people to see what they want to see mm. and to be able to comment more easily. Yeah. If they had to go searching for your channel, yeah, every in time order they, to comment, every time they go on YouTube, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and and it makes them it easier for them to send us questions and comments. Yeah, yeah, because then you see your community tab as well. Yeah. Where you often Yeah. Put I often post stuff. things like don't send me personal <laughs> Facebook messages <laughs> on <laughs> on the community tab, which sort of defeats the object because they probably won't see the community <laughs> tab. Because they're not subscribed, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know so I sort of realised that after I did it. <laughs> Right, what I want to show you on the phone, and I'm just going to hopefully I can record this on the phone, is where you go to get the app. If you're on Android, uh, I swipe up and I go across until I get to Play, Play Store. Yeah, so that's the Google Play Store. And in there, at the top, you search for YouTube, would you believe? And it comes down and somewhere in there. Oh, search for YouTube app. There it is. So your people are saying you're not in the video enough. Can we show them how to install YouTube? Come on, I'm just trying to show people how to install your YouTube app on your phone. Come here, come up here. Thank you. Look, 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 see, this is what we're doing. Come on, up there, come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it there, come on. Yeah. Right, come I've got on. Poppy's help now. <laughs> so, search for the YouTube app in Play Store, and if you have already got it, you will see it says open. If you haven't, it will say install, and obviously, if you need to install it, press it install and off you go and I just I'm just going to click open and it will take you to the YouTube app so and you'd have to sign in on there as well wouldn't you yeah if and if you're not already signed in then it will ask you for a password and your Google account again like you did on the TV just as we did on the TV and then obviously you've got all your um, your favorites are listed on there if I click on subscriptions it lists them at the top up here same as on the TV and it gives you some suggestions of films to watch on there um, I've got the, the library as I had before so my videos are in there and uh, the watch later thing that's always quite useful and all the other videos I've got there if I click on home it takes you back to the start and it's got those categories that we saw early on the on the TV. Um, if I click on that one, I can actually upload a video here, so I can actually do a YouTube video here, or I can create a post. So you may or may not have that on yours. If I want to watch a video, um, what we're going to watch? Uh, Caravan vlogger. There you go. So I want to watch a video. It starts playing. And if I want to comment on it, I click in the comments and I can add a public comment in there. And if I want to give them a like, I can hit, hit the like button or a dislike. Um, and if you weren't subscribed to him, you, you can subscribe there, can't you? Yeah, if I'm not subscribed, it would say subscribe there and I'd hit the subscribe on this bit here. And if I find one I'm not subscribed to, it's probably the easy one to. Just a day. So there's one, and it says it comes up in red. Then, if you're not subscribed, so if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe there. So another reason for getting the YouTube app on your phone. Yeah, and you you can watch the video on on the TV as well, can't you? Yeah, and sometimes we we'll, yeah sometimes what we do is we watch the video on the TV and we comment on the phone. Particularly good that in live streams because yeah. you can have the live stream on the YouTube 
up on the TV yeah. with the live chat going, yeah. and yet you can take part By, on there. Yeah, and uh, if you give them a like on your phone and the TV, they've got two likes. Well, do, do they? Yeah, apparently. Right, I didn't okay. realise that, yeah. 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 So. So they work work together. We normally, you know, yeah. have other phones and use that on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so is there anything else I need to cover? don't think so. It's quite a complex thing until you, you get used to, to using, using it, it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. But like I say, it really helps the channel if you're subscribed and you're commenting on the videos and you're giving them a like. Because what YouTube is looking before it shows the video to other people is, like you said, thank you, is interactions. Yes. It's yes. looking for, you know, someone liking it, someone commenting on it, or someone subscribing on it. And it then says, oh, that video is interesting and shows it to a load more people. Yeah. I've actually noticed that on uh, the phone, sometimes it comes up with a video I've watched yeah. and asks me to rate it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I've done that it... a couple of times. don't know, you know, how and when. No, that's when right. That happens, it, it's when it suggests a video for you to watch. It's tr they're trying to figure out if that's a, a, the correct suggestion. Yeah. So if it, but it's been one that I have liked. Yeah. And so, so I suppose they then again. think after that, oh yeah, she's interested in motones yeah, or whatever. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just guessing. Otherwise, yeah. isn't it? What you yeah, might yeah. like to watch yeah. based on what we, what you watched before. Yeah. Uh, one thing I ought to mention is that if you've got a YouTube, if you've got the YouTube app on your phone or your PC or whatever, what you can see are links. So when I did the last video about. What was it about? The frequently asked questions. The frequently asked five. questions. I put a whole list of things in there. And one of them, for instance, was uh, allowing people to download our checklist, which people have asked me to do before. Now, if you're not on the phone or on the laptop or your Mac, you won't be able to do that. So another advantage is you get free stuff, if you like. People can send you links. Um, Amazon as well. So if I put an Amazon link in there, you can have a look at what that's about and decide whether you want to buy things. So how do you find that when you when you're looking at the video on there? How do you okay see the links? So I'm going to have to start my screen recorder again. So if I go to our latest video, so I'm going to go to library, your videos, so my videos, and one is it? That one, New to Motones. New to Motones Part 5. So I go to New to, to, New to Motones Part 5. Yeah, and then to get to the links you, you yeah. click that down arrow. That's you? it, yeah. So um, a lot of people don't know where the, I say the links are in the description and people don't know where the description is. So if you look at where the title is, Oh, it says new to Motones Part Five. Frequently asked questions. You see, there's a tiny little drop, little arrow, down arrow. So what you do is you tap that down arrow, and it comes up with a description. Then you can scroll up, can't you? And you can scroll up, and you can then click on the links that I've put in there. You've also got the chapters that I put in there. So if you want to quickly go to one of the bits on the chapter, switching the gas on. Actually, I have to skip the ads first. Now, click on switching the gas off, and it will go to that bit in the video. Yeah. You'll see, obviously, if I've got any products that are mentioned, they'll be there. So you've got the quick links to, uh, uh, and that takes you to. I'll just do once there, and that will take you to that in there. I think that's come up. Probably. Yeah, somewhere. So I won't do that one. Um, so if you click on the moving off checklist, and click on Chrome, and that will allow you to download the checklist. Right. I'll click on that, and I go back to YouTube. So another reason, obviously, for having the app and being subscribed. Hmm. Because you won't yeah. have those if you're not subscribed, will you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, that's a click on the cross to close it. But it's another reason for using the app rather than just using it through 
the uh, internet browser. Another thing that you, you can't see if um, you don't look on a phone or a laptop is the thing up here. Yeah, so, so when we say... Up, another link. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So when we say, uh, I'm going to put the links up here... You won't see that on a TV. No. You'll, you'll see it on, on a, on a um, phone, or you see it on your laptop, or your PC, or your Mac. Yeah. So, again, another reason for... Mobile phones are such clever things, really. Yeah, it's just a pity right. they've got such a small screen, really. Well, that's yeah. why using it in conjunction with the smart TV, such and watching the idea. video there, and you're... You know, you can look on there, see other people's comments at the same time as you're yeah. watching the video. I mean, yeah. What more could you want, really? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to explain what the the uh, when we say hit the notifications icon, what that actually means. We'd like you to subscribe, obviously, but there's a little bell icon, and if you click on it, I'm just looking at the travel trolls uh, here. If you click on it, you get three choices. All means that you'll get all notifications, obviously. But the, you've got a personalised one, and that says you get personalised notification. Now you just googled what I just googled what that means, and basically, some channels, if they're uploading videos all the time, you would get a lot of notifications. So what uh, personalised means is YouTube will decide whether to send you a notification based on your viewing habits. So if you watched us, for example, a lot of the time, then it, if you were on personalised, it would send you notifications for us. But some of the other channels where you may have put notifications on who you don't watch very regularly, it wouldn't send, necessarily send you a notification. No, so it bases, bases how many notifications you get on how often you watch I it. I watch that particular yeah. channel, because you could have it switched on for everybody, couldn't yeah. you? And it'd be yeah. just big bing, 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 yeah. all day. All day long, yeah. Yeah. So that, a lot of people have complained, obviously, about the notifications, that uh, they're always getting notified. So if you want to reduce the amount of notifications, turn it on to personalised. Yeah, but you've got to do that on each channel. You've got to go through. I you've got to go to each channel on there, so personalised. And they, obviously the other option is you don't get notifications at all. No. If, you, if you're happy that you don't want to be notified and you know they always release a video on in our case we're doing it on at the moment Sunday and Wednesdays uh, at a certain time then that's possibly the option for you yeah 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 but, but I, you know I've done that before and then I've missed a video so yeah so probably not the best option so no. I tend to leave it on all uh, I don't really find it's that intrusive and no. I've got a lot of subscriptions mm. so I don't know well, that's, that's the three, three, three options. options, yeah. Well, I hope this video has been useful. And uh, if it is, give us a like. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notifications icon and you'll get updates when we release another video. If you're subscribed. <laughs> yeah. The other thing I want to show on the phone is... Let me do a beep. Beep. What am I showing on the phone? For what I'm showing there. <laughs> YouTube on the phone and how to. Uh... No, it's more than that, wasn't it? Um... Oh, brain. Dangerous about a brain. <laughs>